Well, welcome to those dog days of summer. It's early July and it's getting up into the mid 90s today. So I can't think of a better way to stay cool and spend the day than to get in and fish a small creek. Small creek I've never fished before. So this should be fun. I'm gonna get the rod rigged up and I'll see y'all in a second. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Nothing fancy today. Got my light creek rod and trout magnet. <laughs> oh, first bite already. And they're tiny little creatures. <laughs> surprise, surprise. There we go. Oh, what do we got? Oh, our first fish is actually. Hey. There's our first fish. <clears throat> it's a little fall fish. Cool. Nice. All right, well, <clears throat> not gonna get skunked. <laughs> That's always a bonus, right? Oh, uh, there's a, something better. All right, what do we got? Oh, it's a little, come here, little rock bass. Okay, that'll, that'll work. <clears throat> Ouch. Nice. Thank you, Mr. Rock Bass. Cool. Back he goes. It's quite a catch. <laughs> there we go. That's good. Oh, yeah. Come here. Oh. Another little rock bass. I'll catch these all day. I don't care. This is still fun. Nope. Hey. <clears throat> Hello, Creek Chub. <laughs> nice. Number, oh, species number three for the day. And you know what? I'm not sweating. That's the, one of the better parts. Even though it's 90 plus degrees out right now, <clears throat> this creek's still fairly cool. And so another benefit of getting in a small creek, not sweating my, you know what's off. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one's a little bit better. It's nice, clear water. Come here. Whoa. <clears throat> oh, bye bye. Oh, it's a <clears throat> rainbow trout. How about that? Not fighting very hard. I'm gonna keep him in the water as much as possible. Considering how hot it is. <clears throat> All right, I touched him, I caught him. Stay in there. He's been caught a few times, it seems like. There we go. 
right, back he goes. Bye bye. Thank you. Well, that's uh, species number four. Oh. There we go. A bunch of things chasing him. Hold on. Three fish, three casts, something like that. <laughs> oh, jeez. <clears throat> oh, I'll do this all day. But I can't, I gotta get home and cook dinner soon. <laughs> Creek job. I'm back. Oh, the streak's broken. Chunky, look at that guy. Oh, it's coming out of you. I don't know. Going back. <laughs> Should have been keeping a count. <laughs> uh, oh, well, that's a common shiner. Yeah, see? Mm. See the little bit of red on the dorsal fin? Still have it from the breeding season. Oh, darn it. Um, Five. Five species now. So even though this creek is pretty small, um, in some places maybe it's 15 feet across, maybe less, and a lot of it is pretty shallow. Too shallow that's really not going to hold at least big fish, maybe just tiny little creek chubs and other things. If you work them enough though, like this spot right here where you saw caught a bunch of fish in this little hole, you're going to find a hole eventually where it's a bit deeper. I'm standing right next to shore here and I'm already over my knees um, Those holes act like fish magnets and that's where you're gonna spend most of your time and you know, Think about it. How many times have you just driven by a small creek and Just kept on driving like a lot of these people are over there on the road, all right? Maybe some of them are heading to the lake where they're gonna <clears throat> Go fishing go kayaking doing whatever These small creeks don't get fished a lot even in the summer. And so some of these fish probably have never even seen a lure. And with all that, with that, you know, essentially no pressure, I don't know how many creek chubs and other things I've caught today, but um, you can catch a ton of fish and have a ton of fun. Hey, look at that. <laughs> I mean, sure, it's not big, but it's a smallie. Nice. Little smallmouth bass. 
<laughs> cool. What is going on? Oh, they're ripping that crayfish apart. Holy cow. It's like a... I don't know. Can you guys see right here? Probably not because there's probably too much glare and the water's a little murky. But... The Creek Jobs just found a crayfish and they are going to town on it. Holy cow. A little rainbow trout getting in the action. It's like a feeding frenzy. That's crazy. Well, that rainbow trout was a nice fish to end the day on. Um, and hold on a second. Let me explain. So towards the end of that fishing session, Right out of that log jam, you saw me talking about somewhat random thing about creek chubs tearing apart a crayfish. I caught a really nice rainbow. It was the best fish of the day. And somehow I failed to record it. I failed to operate the GoPro properly. Dang. So that's what I was talking about. Back to the outro. I think what a day it was. Um, sure, you're not gonna get a lot of big fish on a small creek like this. I'm um, but what you do get are usually a ton of fish, especially if you can find the holes that are going to hold them during the hot part of the year. Actually, probably too during the cold part of the year as well. Um, find those holes and you can oftentimes find a ton of fish. Fish that probably don't see too many lures, baits, things like that. And so um, you can catch a ton. I think probably caught at least 40 fish today. They're not all going to show up because there was, yeah, fine. There were quite a few small ones, but... Um, we caught some decent creek chubs. Those rainbow trout weren't bad. Uh, one or two rock bass were decent sized. Um, and what did we end up with? Six species of fish. Not bad for this little creek. First time visiting, I think I'll come back again. Maybe I'll bring my tenkara rod, fly fish a little bit. Until then, or until I get out fishing somewhere else, we'll see y'all sometime soon. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.